It's a beautiful Monday. Says Figilis Kato Guti with Nati Gasnia Tela Ama Bala, Lata or Lake in a little more, Nalo and Arbation Akalo Jelumore, the Taganal Jonas, Tajel Taba, Lere, Lidi, Kela, Yablang, Kikam Helopombe. Snetelama Balane. Eh, well, and now. It's all over the Basaka, Mulain, and Mumful Oms and the Tammy Dubana. We can talk a bit, we all know, or at least they are maybe delicious, but your husband, I saw. Well, not like social media, I want my beat teachers and I don't know. I'm not going to go to the Ah, it is so nice. I want to meet her. No. Serious? Never. Can I tell you something? Mm. She's actually watching right now. Hello, see. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, please, please. All right. I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next this fortune, uh, we could sign language interpreter. I go, would you worry? What's that again? We're probably the only program in the country, not if not in the continent, of mm. will everybody. The blind can hear us, the deaf can actually hear us as well via sign language. Luena mm. Honor, all the languages, the Honor Lagadona, if it's on shift, you know you can rely on it. All right, let me know. I'm going to go to the phone. 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 All right, you come again. That's again. Don't matter what's on your mind. Don't know if you're not going to get it. You're always 39133720 or SMS code double three seven twenty. Shift on SABC. Don't see your Rosary email address here and then go social media or on shift on SABC one. Eric, I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. Zakam bengani mishumo ya shumwa na kuchuchu dere bolla kama mvera kwa because baba ni chivali na baadhi jira ya because mvera kwa hiyo kuna kwa nguo wili skolo usiri degree usiri diploma bara mvera kwa dololo awana next so today ita kuna fadhi option jelo kwa dilebele lamsha mbadaska ya ushela na msebenz sana mgeni zama kwa ibo na msha njika we are live always three nine one three three seven twenty double three seven twenty kwa sms line na rena shift rsa bc dot zero zero eight email address here na then kwa social media kwa ya yasge ukalil shift na rsa bc one all right let's meet our studio guest bailong kwa matokeo fakir. How are you? Very well, sir. Good. Hello. Hi. All right. Bless a level one. Hi. Oh, grand. I'm good. When we talk of artisanship, what are we talking about? Straight on, you can go. It's the the needs of on projects. Artisans are needed. So you're looking your motor manufacturing power stations, petrochemical plants, all of it entails artisanship. So it's right. a specific skill, a specific need that meets a need of what's at needed in the marketplace. Mm -hmm. mm. The examples? In South Africa, we have issue with quality of skills and availability of skills. And this has been coming from the early 2000s, um, but nothing really has been done tangibly to, to resolve the issue. And what we believe in doing is practically taking what we have and trying to develop it into making something better and bigger for South Africa. So we take people who have a, an ability, put them into a facility, and upskill them to meet the client's requirements. In South Africa, training facilities generally only give them what minimum requirements are according to the relevant seaters, where that is not meeting the client's requirements on on a project or on a site so we believe in taking those people enhancing them practically to be able to get them onto a work site and to perform we have been very dependent on foreign nationals in the country which has not been a bad thing the problem is no skills transfer from the foreign nationals to this locals have taken place our model we believe in bringing trainers in from the middle from overseas and equipping the local South Africans with skills that they've acquired overseas. If you take into South Africa, the average artisan age is 50 years old. Unemployment rate is 26%. Where in Thailand, for instance, average artisan age is 22. Unemployment rate is under 1%. So they're doing something right. We believe that education is a key part of it. And we would like to see things like welding, puppeting, boiler making, being offered as an education subject at school where people can get the love of that. We have a lot of work available, but we don't have the necessary skills. There are too many doctors, too many lawyers, but you will never hear of having too many welders or too many puppeters. We believe we need to take what we have, the unemployed, the people with abilities, not necessary skills, and give them those skills practically. It doesn't help having theory but not being able to practically do it. We need to marry the two. 
And by doing that through a skills transfer program, foreign national to local, we believe we can enhance that and give the best results to South Africa. With the current economic situation we have in South Africa, not uh, helping us with our unemployment rate, having the mass unemployed people that we do have, we believe we can marry the two. This is very exciting for us. I believe this is a very exciting time for South Africa where we have resources, we have people. They might not have the skills, they might not have the capacity or the ability to be able to do it, but they've got the willingness. South Africa, they've always been willing to learn. And I believe by doing practical skills training programs, one-on-one -on -one with, with a specialist, teaching them how and practically what is needed to be able to fulfill the function on site, we believe we can quickly marry the two. The problem is we need labor, government, and business to come together and sit around a table and discuss how we can implement this, not on a small scale, but on a large scale. We need to get our people employed, but it also doesn't help us just sending the foreign nationals back. We need to marry it. We need to have a program which is effective, which is dedicated, and at the end of the day has a timeline where we can replace the foreign nationals with locals. But if we had to replace all our foreign nationals and locals now, our projects again would be delayed. This would be another cost. So we need to marry the two. We need the foreign nationals here, but we also need the locals trained. How do we marry it? That when a local meets the expectation of the foreign national, that he gets replaced and the local gets put onto site. But doesn't just need to stop there. We need to have continual one-on-one -on -one workshops with these people on a site, getting them into a workshop, and teaching them if there is a mistake on site or high repair rate, whatever it is, getting them, upskilling them again, getting to the quality that we need them so that we can better South Africa. If you look at our government and where they want to go, we believe nuclear is on the table, we believe there's more IPPs coming, we believe there's more power stations coming, more petrochemical plants. This all takes labor. We don't have the labor, but we have the masses of unemployed people that we could train and skill to get to this level. I believe we need to work together, labor, government and business, and we can rectify this problem in South Africa. One thing we've realized, and there's no criticism to current training facilities out there, the problem is the minimum requirements that people are being given versus what clients' expectations are on site are worlds apart. We need to bridge that gap. We are calling upon all parties involved, labor, organized labor, business, government, to come and sit with us. We have got a passion for South Africa. We are Africans. We want to see this country prosper, but we have to do it properly. There's been no effective planning or effective programs put into place to meet clients' response or clients' uh, uh, um, expectations on site. What I mean by that is if we take a person out of a training facility that's got a qualification as a welder, and we send him on to a petrochemical plant or a power plant, they're different consumables, they're different materials, they're different procedures, they're different positions, and these people don't understand that. We want to give them those skills practically in our facility. But this costs money, this costs effort, this costs the willpower to be able to do it. We are there and we want to call and invite all parties to come join hands and make South Africa great. Hey, start. Okay, my name is Tabelo Ali Sambo. We are here at Botswana Training Centre for five months. We are training for the agon, stick welding, arc welding, yeah. and cheek welding. We are going to be the professionals for skills transfer at this Botswana and we are proud of ourselves for the skills transfer from Thailand yeah. and we will become the professionals. Can the Thailand trainer make communication in you, uh, with you in English? Yeah, you understand them? Yeah. Okay, very good. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay. My name is Prisha Snowfoola I am from Belfast. I'm here at Ngodwana. From Belfast? Yes. Okay, yeah. I'm at the Ngodwana Training Center, sponsored by Ngaba. We are doing a welding training here. I think it's good. Good. Yeah, it's a good training. Yeah. So you're gonna be skilled. And, and you then, even you lady, but you like to be a welder. Yes, I think ah, so. Ah, that's good. great. Yeah. Well, I I, I wow. wish you a success in your career. Yeah. Thank you very much. Oh, thanks.
My name is Manga yeah. Kubela from around Kumalanga, Kumasi. I'm here for training for SAP skills. Yeah. They, I help, they help me a lot because I mean, I'm a black person, but I never well before. Ah, so the you've never been well before? Yeah. You just start here? I'm starting here. From zero? From zero to And zero. now you can well? Yes. Wow, that's good, man. Uh, the talent guide helped me a lot. Yeah? So, but, but no matter, speak English, no problem. Yeah. But. You can train you. You can train us. Very so good. You can learn something and become better. So you're happy for this program? You happy? Yeah, I'm too happy. Too happy? Too happy. Very, very happy? Yeah. Okay, man. Well, I wish you success in your career, yeah? Yeah. To be a professional welder. Professional welder. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Okay, um, my name is Speak loud, speak loud. My name is Tumsan Lovu. I start to train here in February. Yeah. And then now we're going, we're going to complete two months. Yeah. So this training is going to help a lot of people. These skills we have here in Thailand is very, very helpful to us as young. Who who training you? Who is the trainer? The Thailand. From Thailand. From Thailand. Then they're going to Can they can they speak English or telling you or communication? No, there's a bit lack of communication. Body language. Yeah, then you have to to see the body language. So and you have to hand on. Yes. Good, good. What do you think about this program? Uh, this program is going to help lots of people. Uh, some of people don't, don't in, interested in these uh, skills. Yeah. But when times go on and on, people they going to get interested. Well, I believe that once you finish the uh, program, all your friends they will they will think of it. Okay. Yes. Thank you very much, sir. Thanks, Thank sir. you. How are you, everyone? My name is. Speak loud, speak loud, yeah. How are you everyone? My name is Dukuz and Sweeney and I live, I'm from Mittelberg. Ah, oh, Mittelberg. Yes. I, I thought you're from Wadwana, from Mittelberg. I'm from Mittelberg. Oh, very good, very yes. good, okay. Actually, I come here looking for work. Yeah. Then uh, I met this lady who, who's in charge here, then he introduced me to the guys. For the training, then, yeah? Yes, I became interested in her. Good. So, um, I, uh, I had Mika and the seal uh, stick uh, certificates. Yeah. Okay. Uh, with this experience, comparing with the experience that I had, uh, this one is the best one. The best one. Yes. How oh, you been trained before? Yes. But I, this one better. Yeah, this one is better. So who's the trainer? Is the Thailand guy called Thailand. Yes. Okay. Good, good, good. Well, I wish you success in your career and then be happy to be a welder. Okay. Pleasure. Thank you very much. Yeah. Speak loud. My name is Zulise from yeah. Sin Makakula. I started training here two months ago. Where you where you come from? I come from Gapuweni. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, two months ago we started with stick welding, but now we, we were moved to aqua welding. Yeah. So we are doing pretty much good. We are we are happy to be here. Okay. And I must say we are, we are privileged to have these type people to help us with the welding skills. Very good. Have you been trained like this before? No. You just start here? Yeah. And now you know how to weld? Very good. I wish you happy and then a success for your career, okay? Thank you. Hi, my name is Kila I'm from Komati Port. From where? Komati Port. Okay. I've been here since January. Speak loud, speak loud. <laughs> I'm doing welding training. Yeah. Uh, the duration is five months. All right. And then the training is sponsored by Naba. Uh, I mean, not sponsored by Naba. Uh, okay. And we are trained by people from Thailand. Okay. <laughs> So you and you will become a professional welder soon. Yeah, I'll be a professional welder. Good, good, good. good. Well, I wish you uh, success and then congratulations. Yeah. Hi, my name is Joseph. My Joseph. name is Boma. I ate Boma. Where, where you? Where did you came from? 
Mzinti and at Botuane. Okay. At welding training. Yeah. We sponsored by Ingaba. Yeah. So we hope we are going to be a good welder next time. Professional welder. Professional welder. Good. In South Africa. All right. We, we train with the people coming from Thailand. Yeah. Training is going okay. How's the trainer? Is it's the trainer is good guy or he uh, bad guy? Uh, working with a good guy. Good guy. Uh, we're training uh, as a team. All right. We respect each other. Oh, uh, very good. I hope next time people will come uh, and train and join us. And okay. Train with us. I hope. This thing is going to make a good life. Um, life will, will change your life. Yeah, it's going for to sure. change your li our lives. Yeah. Uh, we hope people, uh, especially young people, yeah. will come and train okay. with us. Good, good, Thank good, good. Okay. Thank you, sir. Yes. Hi, my name is Anna Kedapia. I am the coordinator for the Skills Transfer Program for SAP and Incava. What we are doing is we're taking the unemployed skill, uh, unemployed people from um, from the local area, and we are transferring the skills from the Thai people to them. Uh, this is a great opportunity for them. We are creating job opportunities. These guys will never in their life have this opportunity again, and um, we are so proud of them because they are really they are doing the best to to learn everything from the Thai people. Um, uh, do you want me to walk in? You can okay. just. Yeah, I'm Temba. I'm working for SAPI, uh, but when I'm, in, I'm looking for engineering department, I'm an electrician. Okay. Uh, I came here with for the uh, skill development program, which is basically yeah, behind me in the training center. It's basically, we're learning how to weld. We're also doing the. Uh, how long have you been training? I've been training for two days now. I'm looking forward to the, uh, another two weeks to come. It's good? You're getting good? Better? Yeah, yeah the, the presentation is quite good. We're right. learning, but now, like, we have just started, so I cannot tell exactly right. what's going on. What about the trainer? Can you make the understanding of uh, his uh, training in English? Yeah, they're training, English? they're training in English. They're training their best, uh, but the accent is not the same. All right. But, yeah, they're but trying you can best. understand? I can understand. Yeah. Okay, very good. Thank you very much, sir. Oh, that's my Thank pleasure, you. man. Bye. Bye. Hello, my name is Alex Nifonto. I'm from SEP in Godwana, uh, the company in Pumalanga. Uh, I've been doing my training uh, since on the 4th of, uh, on the 8th of uh, May. Right. Um, I'm here to do the basic training uh, for the welding. And uh, I never did the welding before, but... Uh, oh, you never done before? Yes. So you start from zero? Yes, I'm starting from zero percent. So what happened now? Uh, what happened yesterday, uh, I did uh, 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 a stick Let's welding. Stick welding? Stick welding. Wow. Whereby uh, they recommended me as a, a, a someone who's uh, a trainer. knowledge. A trainer. Training, yes. Um, I say uh, what uh, I learned here is uh, much interesting. Uh, I'm hoping uh, they can, the company can send the other, uh, other guys. Yeah. to come and do their training as well. Do so you think you can improve your career? Yeah, I can improve my career because uh, if uh, we, we, we get breakdowns and stuff like that, the good. problem, good, good. Uh, instead of waiting for the volume maker, having that knowledge of uh, basic welding, I can do the uh, welding. job uh, so that we can uh, make the uh, time short. Wow. The, uh, Congratulations and, and uh, hope you are lucky with your new career, yeah? I'll be uh, lucky, you. yes, thank and you, then I'll you. be the best of them all. Thank you. Thanks. Congratulations. Yep. Hello, this is Jack Norfolk. I work on SEP in Godwana. I'm busy with organ welding and so. People learn us very well. Yeah, it's very nice. It's nice to learn something else. I'm talking about liquor. I only hear liquor. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> keep, keep going. Yeah, have not... you been well before? We have been before. You welding before? Yeah, but only stick, not organ I and see. welding. Yeah. So now you're training for the argon? Yes. Okay. It's very interesting. All right. Nice to learn. So what about the trainer? The, the skill transfer, the trainer from Thailand. Can they make you understand it English? Yes, very good. Understand? Yes. All very, right. very good teacher. Well, I hope you uh, have a good 
a career in the future and congratulations and glad for you to be here. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Okay. Three. Right. I'm a boiler maker of trade. I do the stick welding and I'm learning argon welding at the moment. Um, the facilities is quite good. The teachers are quite uh, who's good. Who's the teacher? Up. Hey. Who's the teacher? Yeah, the teacher is good up. We know what they're talking about. And he shows you exactly what you need to know about the argon welding. All right. So you think there's a good chance for you to be trained here for the tick uh, argon? Yes, for argon, yes. Very good. Well, I hope you have a success and then congratulations and glad to have you here. Thank you. Thank you, sir. It is lekker hier so. Ons genieten het om te leer van die welding en van die argon welding. Ons sê baie nieuwe goeie groot ondervinding. Ons sê baie dankie vir SAP en ook vir die training center hier so. Dankie. My name is Poela Mekha, I'm a profession in Lana, Stoli Training, from Ingawa, Nama, Welders, Abuya, Thailand. We are very happy, they are teaching us a lot about e-welding. Most of the things that we didn't know, here we are, now we can do tube welding, alcohol welding. We thank these guys very much. Alright, I hope you improve your career and then congratulations. I'm glad to have you here. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank you. Okay, my name is Barry Holstelsen. Uh, I'm employed at SAPI. I'm a fitter by trade. Uh, I find this welding course very helpful. I think in the future we're definitely going to use this training we're experiencing now uh, further in our life at SAPI uh, in general. Oh, that's good. Congratulations for you for future career and then uh, glad to have you here. Thank you, Thank sir. You. Thank you for your time. Three. Speak louder. Kamala Mukosna Timulas, Uche Jam Instrument Mission. We said that the only basic wedding, so Waman Jones has won it. And as a writing, there was a routine in music to present to the time and being a wife, a community. That's it. Well, um, congratulations that you have a uh, chance to be training here and hope you have a good future. Yeah? Thank you, sir. Hi, my name is Wolf Skitter and um, yeah, I'm in, in Sapi on in Gdwan and enjoyed very much here. I came for training here with the Thai guys and um, they've we've learned a lot already. Enjoyed very much with them and they are very friendly people and they are most welcome to come back and give some more training to our people. Wow. We love you guys. Very Thanks good. A lot, Congratulations eh? and Thanks. glad to have you here. Thanks a lot. Thank you, eh? sir. Thanks, eh? Hello, this is Kurt Samson from uh, South Africa. I just want to say thank you for the opportunity for this company that they're giving to us. Um, I just also want to say that our um, home affairs should really uh, look into it to give the guys a big opportunity, a more big opportunity um, to let them uh, provide this training more often to give the guys a, a nice growth because a lot of the guys need, uh, need a training. And I also just want to say thanks a lot uh, once again for the opportunity that they're giving us. Thanks. Well, congratulations and then glad to have you here and hope you have a good future for your career. Thank you, sir. Thanks. Hello. How are you? Fine. How's things going on site? A little bit better than before, man. Is it a, a challenge? Different? Yeah, yeah there's a different now. Yes, but you're adjusting? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And how, what we taught you in the training, how, how important is it here? What is, yeah, it's very what important taken, like? now. Yes. It's very important because what we learned from the training, we find it now inside. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Hello, Misha. Hello, ma'am. And how's it going on site for you? Uh, inside is good, but it's a little bit difficult. We must more, we must learn more. Yeah, train it's an hard. adjustment. Yes, yes, yes. yes. We are supposed to train hard. When you get the opportunities, we must train hard. Yes. Mm, I think it's fine. Train hard and then work hard. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yes. I think it's fine. It's fine. When you get the opportunities, you must use that chance. Yes. Mm. Yes. 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 That's very good. Yes. Okay.
okay, now I have a job now, so I've been playing so many things in life because uh, welding is a very best skills in South Africa because uh, there are too many South Africans but they do not have skills of welding. But now I'm so very thankful to the Thailand guys to just to train us so so hard like this. Now I'm so very thankful. Uh, so I've got uh, many challenges in life, so I have to do too many things for, or maybe for being a, a proper man. I have to build my own house now. I've got the skills of welding, so I have to increase my my skills. So I've got to work hard so far. That's very good. What about you? Okay, now I'm getting a job, and I'm working on site. I'm happy. I'm over happy. I'm excited. So, um, in five years or three years time, I want to build my house and build my mother's house and I can work hard to become a best welder in South Africa. That's very good. That, yes. that could to be set up the target, yeah? Yes. So you can achieve your target in your life. Yes. yes. Well, we on behalf of the in Klaba, yeah? We yes. would like to uh, congratulate that you have a job today and please keep hard, training hard, yeah? This, the whole thing, whatever you do it for yourself and your family. Yes. All right? Yeah. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Thank you. I just want to thank you, man. Because if it wasn't you, you are the lady of tomorrow. Thank you, man. You are the one who got the skills for me from the talent guys. Thank you. Thank you, Tafela. Thank you. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, firstly, I want to thank ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you for giving me this chance and I want to thank a Thai guy to come fly to give us our skills there and I can try my best to, to yeah to improve my skills. Improve your skills, improve your life, yeah? Yes, 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 yes. And we hope you can be reflect direct to your family too, yeah? Yes, yes. yes. We I on behalf of Thai people we also feel very uh, uh a pleasure to be with you and then have you as a team and so surely we will come and see you each other again soon okay, okay. have a good luck